So it's been my goal to help you with spiritual formation practices. And I am struggling right now because it is almost October and we have a presidential election coming up in November in the U.S. So everything I've been reading or listening to has been consumed with politics. So as a Christian, how do you vote in November? <laughs> you know, I have my thoughts and I have my platforms and my ideas, but I can respect the other side and I can understand where they're coming from. As we engage in this political system, love on your brother, love on your sister, be winsome around them, being an, be an encouragement to them, because as we get ready to vote, they're gonna have their understanding of what it means to be an American and, and what their thoughts are on how we should be governed. I have my thoughts, they have theirs, but they're still my brother and my sister in Christ, and I want to love on them. I think we run the risk that in this election season, especially in the climate that we're in right now, that we are creating um, little messiahs out of the presidential candidates. And we will defend our messiahs at all cost and their ideologies. That shouldn't be so. Um, this life is temporary. We will be going to heaven, the new heavens and the new earth one day. And that is primary. It is far superior to anything that we are encountering during this election time. Elections are important. Don't want to minimize that. But as believers, once November happens and we have a new president or an existing president, however it turns out, then the very next day, our job and our task is still to work for the kingdom of God and to win souls and to work on our own souls as we uh, encourage those around us. So there's my thoughts on the political season that we are in. Agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be praying for you.